welcome back to Miss Love's Science Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a stoichiometry experiment. We're going to do a double replacement reaction with copper sulfate and sodium carbonate. We're going to make two solutions of these crystals. We're going to stir together those solutions and make some products. The products will be, according to my chemical equation, copper carbonate, which will be solid, and sodium sulfate, which will be aqueous or in solution. What we're going to look for is that solid copper carbonate uh, product. We're going to dry it out and see how much of it we made. Let's first make sure that we have all of the materials. We need two small beakers, here and here. You need a stirring rod and scupula or spatula for each of these solutions. You need two clean, dry weigh boats, a balance, a graduated cylinder, a funnel, an Erlenmeyer flask, and some coffee filters. That's everything we need to get started. The first part of the procedure is how to make the copper sulfate solution. So that is these lovely blue crystals. We're going to make a solution with about half a gram of copper sulfate. It says about or approximately. So we're going to get as close as we can to 0.5 grams and then we'll record the exact mass in the data table. First we're going to uh, place a clean dry plastic weigh boat on the balance and press T for tear. So I'm turning this on. I'm going to press T for tear just to make sure that it's really at zero. I'm also going to double check to make sure that there's a little G in the top that tells me that it's in grams mode. If it's not in grams mode, press the M button until you get to grams. Little G for grams. All right. We need about half a gram of these copper sulfate crystals. So I've already opened this to make it a little easier on myself. And I'm going to carefully scoop out about as close as I can get to half a gram. Might get a little wonky here in the video. Okay. I don't need too, too much. I'm just gonna see how much this weighs. Ooh, way too much. So when that happens, if everything is clean and dry, you can scoop back out of this into the container. Normally that's not a very good science practice, but here in a high school chemistry lab, it's okay. But it seems to be stable again at 0 0.51 grams. So that's what I'll write in my data table next to copper sulfate, 0 0.51 grams. There's also a place for us to write the appearance. So these are some beautiful blue crystals, some bright blue crystals. Okay, I'm going to flip back to my procedure on page one. Carefully pour all of the copper sulfate crystals into a clean, dry beaker. So I'm going to take it, pour them in here, make sure that you get everything, gently tap the side. And to make sure I don't mix up this weigh boot, I'm going to place it way over there. Okay, next step. Measure about 30 milliliters of water in the graduated cylinder. This does not need to be exact. We're not making any super special solutions that have to be exactly a certain volume. So I'm just going to get this close, overshot a little bit, pour some out. close enough. It needs to be just probably between 30 and 35 milliliters. The next step says pour the water into the beaker and stir the solution with the stirring rod until all of the crystals have dissolved. So I'm going to pour it in here and stir, stir, stir until all of these crystals have dissolved. All right, part two of this experiment will be making the sodium carbonate solution. So we're gonna turn the page and make our sodium carbonate solution. Place a clean, dry plastic weigh boat on the balance and press T for tear. So right now I have the measurement of the mass of this weigh boat, I don't want that. I'm gonna press T for tear. I'm going to carefully measure about 0.2 grams of the sodium carbonate crystals and record the exact mass in the data table. So this time I want to make sure that I'm using the sodium carbonate 
and a different scoop or spatula. I only need a very small amount of these crystals, 0.2 grams. to be perfect. As long as I make sure to write down exactly how much I measured. So I'm going to go now to my data table on the other side and write down 0 0.19 grams. And this is a white powder. So in appearance, I'm going to write white powder. We'll do the exact same procedure. We're going to make a solution out of this powder with about 30 milliliters of water from the graduated cylinder. So I'm going to measure and measure it out. About 30 grams or 30 milliliters of water. That's way too much. So I'm going to pour some out. About 30 milliliters. Perfect. Okay. So I will carefully pour my crystals into the beaker. Pour the 30 milliliters of water. And again, we're going to stir this solution until all of the solids disappear. So you might need to stir for a little while. Okay. I have the copper sulfate solution and the sodium carbonate solution. I'm about to do part two of the procedure, which is the actual reaction. So we're going to slowly pour this in. And we immediately see the reaction. This is what you should see if you've done it correctly. You should see the solid copper carbonate precipitating out of solution. Now I'm going to stir this just to make sure it's fully reacting. Let's pour in some more of the copper sulfate solution. Ooh, you should see that beautiful precipitation happening. Stir, stir, stir. And pour in your last bit of copper sulfate solution. Now, the whole purpose of this experiment is to measure how much solid has precipitated out of this reaction. If we can figure out how much solid is in here, we can compare that to the theoretical yield or how much we should have made to see are we really a good chemist or not. That number that will tell us if we're a good chemist is called the percent yield. So the next piece is how are we going to separate the solid out of this mixture and figure out our percent yield. So the first thing I need to do is get some filters. We're using coffee filters for this experiment. We need to make sure we measure the mass of these coffee filters before we pour anything onto it. This is super, super important. If you miss this step, you won't be able to finish the lab. So I have two coffee filters stacked on top of each other and the mass I see is 1.83 grams. So on the other side, there's a place in my data table to write that down, 1.83 grams. That's really, really important for later. All right, now I'm going to take the coffee filters and place it inside the funnel and Erlenmeyer flask. So once we have our Erlenmeyer flask with the funnel, and the coffee filters, you can pour your solution into the coffee filter slowly. If you pour too fast, you might spill some solution. And that would pretty much be a failure of your experiment because we're trying to collect all of this beautiful blue solid. Let's see, I see the coffee filter starting to bend and I'm just slowly pouring it in here. We don't wanna overflow. All right, if you see there's still a lot of blue in your beaker, you can do the same thing I did before, which is add a little bit of water. And don't pour this down the sink. This is your precious product. So this is happily dripping out all the liquid. We wanna get rid of all of that liquid. So I'm gonna pour the rest of this water in here from rinsing out my beaker. All right, I'm gonna let this continue to drain. Once it's drained out all the water that I can see, we'll place it onto a watch glass, which is just a little cylindrical piece of glass and put it in the oven. I'll show you what it looks like after that process. See at the end of this experiment, what does it look like? This is an oven just like you might find in your house, but what it's gonna do for us is dry out all of that moisture. So all we have left is the dry filter paper with dry product on it. So this product is calcium carbonate, I'm sorry, copper carbonate, the product of our reaction. The last step that you need to do is go back to the balance and measure this. 
find the mass of your product, subtract the mass of the coffee filter, and then you'll find out how much product you made. Then you get to do all of the fun stoichiometry math, which I will help you with. I hope that you enjoy this lab. Remember to smash that like and subscribe button as you guys told me to say. I'll see you tomorrow.